everything old is new again. Owner of Johnson Studio and Camera, Lydia Johnson, has seen film photography become a prime example of this age-old saying. I would say it was probably about six years ago that we noticed a shift generationally of those customers that were coming to us asking for their film to be developed. But to understand the significance of film's comeback, it's important to know the history of film photography. According to Kodak's website, in the late 1800s, George Eastman, the founder of Eastman Kodak Company, began experiments to create a flexible film roll and received a patent for that film roll in 1885. His next focus was to create a camera that could use this new roll. In 1888, Eastman did just that when he patented and released the first Kodak camera. The camera was loaded with 100 exposures. After the film was used, the photographer would mail the camera and $10 back to Kodak. There, the film was processed, printed, and the camera was reloaded with more film and sent back to the photographer along with the prints. Johnson knows this history firsthand as her grandfather started Johnson's studio over 70 years ago. And she says this new generation is on the hunt for this old medium. We have grandparents that are um, feeling a little pressure from their grandchildren saying, hey, did you ever own one of these? And the giggles of, yeah, there's dust on it somewhere. Maybe it's in the attic. And those old Nikons and Minoltas and Olympuses really being resurrected. Johnson says one of the reasons young people are becoming more drawn to film photography is the idea that each picture holds more weight. A roll of film you know, typically packaged in, in a length of 24 exposures or 36 exposures, now there becomes a scarcity. So it becomes um, instantly essential that you make your decisions deliberately, deciding when you're going to click the shutter button. Syracuse photography graduate student Syria Vaidi says in a digital world, it's nice to have a different form of photography that forces an ever-moving generation to slow down. The physical object of film, you know, that's really cool and really, I think, impactful in and of itself to people. So we have so many digital things when you can afford to have a physical thing. I think that's really cool. Though film photography will always be in competition with digital, it's clear there is a newfound love for an old medium. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Emily Coffey for NCC News.